Welcome back to today's NBA pick video play for Tuesday, November 21st, 2017. Just one matchup on the board here for today's action in the NBA, so we're going to give our take on who we feel has the better betting edge in that particular matchup between the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Lakers. If you guys are interested in getting all of our NBA plays every single day, you can access those over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description, and be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So heading into this one, uh, we're going to give our take on who we feel has the better betting edge against the spread. Not two teams that are necessarily powerhouses in the NBA by any means, but should be an interesting game to watch nonetheless if you're a fan of kind of seeing these uh, teams that have a lot of younger players, rookies, um, just a lot of young guys that are up and coming in the NBA scene, uh, just to kind of see as they continue to develop throughout the year and what they have to show against each other. So both teams probably going to be coming into today's matchup feeling like they have a good shot to get the win, uh, given the fact that they're not going against an opponent that's loaded up with a bunch of high-level veterans. The Bulls, they knew they were going into rebuild mode this year. They had a fire sale in the offseason. Uh, you know, they're going to be playing for those lottery numbers, standing just 3-11 and overall. They have been a little bit more competitive as of late, which might be why... Uh, Vegas gives them a little bit of respect coming in this one, not being huge underdogs here on the road as they continue this West Coast trip. They opened with a 105 to 113 loss in their last outing on the road against the Suns. But prior to that, the Bulls picked up a nice win at home against the Charlotte Hornets, one of their better showings of the year. And then prior to that, some more Western Conference road games. The Bulls lost to the Thunder by 13 points. And then they were absolutely blown out on the road by the Spurs, losing that one by 39 points. So some up and down results here for this young team. And that's just to be expected from the Chicago Bulls throughout the entire regular season. They don't have consistent options on the offensive side of the ball as they continue to develop their roster. And as a result, they rank near the bottom of the NBA in scoring average, putting up about 95 and a half points per game, which is 29th in the NBA, 13th in total team defense with a plus minus of nearly minus 10 points, which is just a really ugly number to have. Going here today against the Lakers, who have been pretty respectable on their home court. They have a 500 record right now at home, and they stand 7-10 and 10 overall, which actually puts the Lakers uh, behind the Golden State Warriors in the Pacific Division. But um, right now, Phoenix, Clippers, Sacramento, not having a whole lot of success to open the year. So the Lakers right there uh, in the upper tier of the standings, even though they are quite a few games behind the Golden State Warriors. But the Lakers, they looked really good in their last outing at home, beating the Nuggets by a final of 127 to 101. And the Lakers, they just seem to play with a bit more confidence on their home court. Their only two road wins so far this season both came against the Phoenix Suns. And Phoenix, not a great team overall, so not doing a whole lot of great things on the road outside of those two particular wins against one of their divisional foes. But nonetheless, that 500 record on their home court, they have just look like uh, they're playing with more comfort behind that great home crowd advantage. Not surprising to see a younger team like the Lakers have a lot more success on their home court than what they've shown overall on the road. But on the year, this group, they're ranked 15th in the NBA in scoring average, 22nd in total team defense with a plus minus of about minus two points. So just basic based on the plus minuses of each of these teams, the Lakers having about eight points more of success than the Bulls. And that's not a number that surprises me, given the fact that even though the Lakers do have a lot of young pieces, they have... I would say better overall veteran play than what uh, the Bulls are offering for their group and just a better, it seems, coaching situation, staffing situation, um, and some more intriguing pieces to potentially build around going into the future. So coming to this one, we're quite a bit higher on the Lakers at this point in the year than what we've been seeing out of the Bulls. Also, they looked great in their last home game against a good Denver team. Uh, and we like the Lakers to build off of that momentum coming into this one at home. So we're going to side with the Lakers here, giving the five and a half points. You know, these games where there's a lot of young guys playing, they're not as secure as, you know, when you take those teams that have a lot of veterans. Uh, but nonetheless, we do still feel like the Lakers have the better betting edge here coming into this one, giving those five and a half points. And again, guys, to get all of our NBA plays Every single day, you can access those over at stumpthespread.com, linked in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping on in, and we hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.